Hey you guys, in this video I'll be doing one of these. It's a tic-tac-toe, but we're using toilet paper. In fact, it's a very easy build. It only consists of three pieces. One, the outer frame, which is the same all the way around, and one piece in the middle, which is the same on all four, and one piece for these ones, which are also the same. Righty, let's get started. All right, you guys, I've got some rough pieces right here, which I'm gonna split down the center, and my toilet paper should fit on each side, so I'm gonna get two pieces out of this. I'm gonna split them with my bandsaw, and after that, I'm gonna run them through my, my planer. The end board that I'm, uh, the thickness that we're gonna end up with is 19 by 140 mil. Boards are all ready and I'm gonna start with the four pieces in the center. The first thing I'll do is I'll cut them on length. I'll make all four pieces square at one end. I'll use my stock to get them all in the exact same length. To make the cutouts I'll set the width for 143 mil and the depth for 57 mil. I'll make this cut on both sides of the board and on all four pieces. The next cut I'm gonna do is just the thickness of the board. So I'm just gonna line this up right there. And make a marking. And that's where my next cut will be. You don't want it too tight, you need a bit of play. So we'll start with this and see how we go. I'm just gonna take this part out with a chisel. I need to clean it up a bit, but you can see I just barely missed the line. And hopefully that this should be okay. Yeah, there's a bit of play and that's okay. You can make all of these cuts on the circular saw, but I like to use my tools. Here we go. Perfect. Let's see if it fits. Perfect. Now we need to make the sides. We'll start to cut them. The next pieces that we're gonna do are the outer frame. And I'm just gonna take one of these, pull this one up. Place it on top, line it up, and mark it on each end, like that. And here I've got my measurements, and I know that I'm gonna cut 45 degrees this way, and 45 degrees this way. I'm using type on two for this glue up. Um, it's probably best to have a glue that's water resistant as this piece will probably be in the, the bathroom. I'm only using glue for the inside here, no nails. I'll do a dry fit first. If everything is okay, I'll make some small markings. This will help me when I start my gluing. 
to place the pieces exactly where they need to be. I've also made a line on the outside for the few markings so I know where to shoot my nails in. I'll use a bit of glue and I need a clamp to hold everything in place. And then I just use my nail gun to shoot two nails in each board on each side. Now this is done and I just need uh, the last two pieces. One here and one here. I've done the same thing, just made a few markings where I need to put my nails in. And I'll do the exact same thing as before. And there you go. Now for the small ones, it's gonna be the exact same setup. We're just gonna make the gap here as tight as possible. And I only use glue for this, no nails. Ready for surface treatment and I'm going to make these black. Now it does look very black right now but once it dries the color will sort of fade. There you go, and I'm just going to let it sit and dry up and then wipe off uh, the excess oil. After the glue up, you need to remove all the glue or else it would look like this. And now for the frame, I'm going to use the exact same oil but mahogany color. Done with the first coat and I'll probably give it two coats to get it a bit more uh, darker. Now I'll leave the wood to soak up the oil and then wipe off the excess oil. And now we're all done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. That would really help me out. Thanks you guys.